All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? What is going on? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. And if you're watching on the replay, which you probably are, it's all good. Leave a quick comment right now that says hashtag team replay. I'll give you a second to do it. And you also may want to skip about a minute or two into the video uh, because I like to do my intro and shout outs and all that. So if you don't want to hear that, fast forward away, fast forward ahoy. But for everybody else who is here watching live, welcome. That's right, to the PTD Power Half Hour. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only paid to drive one of the only channels on YouTube trying to put a little bit more of that money back in your pocket. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed your Tuesday, made lots of money, and, uh, you know, hopefully everything worked out for you. And if it didn't, well, remember, tomorrow is another, another, another opportunity, another chance to make it right, to, you know, for things to work out. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be optimistic. You know what I mean? You know, I, I got to do that more often, you know? But anyway, if you are a delivery driver for Grubhub, Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, Caviar, Instacart, Amazon, Flex, DLive, E24, Seamless, or any of the others, you should absolutely, positively be subscribed to this channel with that post notification bell turned on, folks. Comment 777 in the chat if you are subscribed here with that post notification bell turned on. Comment 888 if you are not yet. That's right, everybody. Go ahead. Why not? Anyway, also subscribe to my second channel, the Pay to Drive Vlogs, a.k.a. the PTD Vlogs. All right. Uh, comment 999 if you've done that. 10, 10, 10 if you haven't yet. You know, all that good stuff. And let's uh, let's see if we can go for 100 likes on the video today. Why not, right? That's usually what we go for. Uh, kindly comment 111 in the chat if you have smashed the like. 222 if you haven't yet. But it's okay. There's always still time. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but... I don't know. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of people here in the chat. Let's see. Is my view counter? No. Okay. All right. It is working. I just want to make sure because it was stuck on 23 for a little while. Uh, but yeah, guys, smash the like. If we get 50 thumbs up in the first 30 minutes, this will turn into a PTD power half hour plus five. And then if we get 80 likes, this will turn into a PTD power half hour plus 10, which will make it a 40 minute stream. And if we get 100 likes, then we will be live for the full hour from 11 p.m. Eastern all the way till 12 a.m. Eastern, so till midnight. So we're gonna do some quick shout outs and then we're gonna jump into this. We've got Robin Miller, what's up? Comment 555 when you hear your name. Pen Mao, it's time we added you as a moderator. Robin Miller, Pen Mao, Tim Harris, Faye DeRoe, Buddha Son, uh, who else do we got? Fernando Yara, Michelle Wheaton, Timothy Newell, April, what's up? Joe Ferry, Billy Wickham, uh, Beauty for Ashes, uh, Lynetta, what's up? Dan Harp, uh, Gig Economy Rocker. Oh, geez. John, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Wow. My deepest condolences, John. Was this, was this an ongoing thing? Was this a sudden thing? I'm very sorry to hear about that, man. I wish you uh, had contacted me about that. Guys, please please give your condolences, uh, if, you, if you wouldn't mind. For Gig Economy Rocker, he said, Sad day in the life of Gig Economy Rocker. My dad passed away today. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Wow. See, th I, I, this happened a couple of weeks ago. Somebody, I believe it was Ray Deloach, he said that his wife passed and I, I don't know where to go from here. I always feel so terrible. What's up, DJ? What's up, DJ Stereophonic? I feel like it's very hard to, to move on from that. Wow. I'm going to try. Again, the show must go on. Gig Economy Rocker. But if, if you need someone to talk to, man, send me an email. Uh, pay to drive stories or get at me on Facebook or something. I'm very sorry to hear that. All right, Derek, I'll check that out. But... Um, John, if it's cool with you, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move on here. Yeah, I could only imagine, John. I could only imagine. Uh, if, like I said, Gig Economy Rocker, if you feel like you you want to talk about it, feel free to email me, okay? Uh, but I, I unfortunately I do have to to move on here. Um, all right. Well, with that being said, 
Uh, what's up, Juan? And Tippy loves tips. Mr. Kyver, 32. Uh, Keisha Sutton, Joe Ferry, Timothy Newell. Just want to make sure. All right. So what are we going to do tonight? Uh, like, I'm really, my head's all over the place now because of that, John. And it's totally okay. It's just, you know, it's very hard information to process. Yes, yes, the show must go on. You're right. So, Budasan, are you still here, Budasan? 2017 Grubhub versus 2019 Grubhub. So, this is not a news-related topic like I normally like to talk about, which is probably why the viewers are so low, uh, but I kind of anticipated that. Um, what I wanted to talk about is my own personal experiences from what I've noticed from when I started in June 2017 all the way now. Uh, into November of 2019 and now going into the new year of 2020 the change some of the changes that I've noticed things that I've liked things that I haven't really liked so much uh, what's up gig economy Lexi how you doing Judy chips what's up you know so I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of shoot from the hip again there's no article here so we're gonna kind of just freelance this one um, I saw that, Tim, but I feel like a lot of those topics I had already covered, but I appreciate it, Tim. Always feel free to keep forwarding me, you know, information, you know. Um, so, first and foremost, out of everyone here, how many of you are actually a Grubhub driver? See, I knew it. I knew I was going to pull on some hard strings, like DJ Stereophonic, 2017 Grubhub, yep. Guys, comment 333 if you are an active Grubhub driver, comment 444 if you're not. Um, and how many of you guys are use Grubhub as your primary um, platform, like such as myself? Cali, Cindy, what's up? What's happening? So, anyway, in 2017, when I signed up, as I've talked about several times, uh, I was I was always dependent on the hourly guarantee. I believe it was a $12 hourly guarantee, right, in my market, and. I remember I was terrified. I was terrified to attempt working off block. I was terrified if I was a little late. You know, I was just always living in fear, you know, and that's just, that's how I felt at, at first. But then that's when I was a complete rookie and I'm talking like my first month. What's up, food guru? What's up, uh, everybody who just joined us? Dan Harp. So <clears throat> anyway... As I started making friends with other drivers in the market, you know, of course, you, you know, you start talking with drivers when you're all waiting at a restaurant, especially like McDonald's or something, or Buffalo Wild Wings in my area, which takes friggin' forever. Um, you know, you start talking, you start giving your tips and tricks, almost as if you were making a YouTube video, but when you're just talking to someone in person. So with that being said, when I found out that, you know, I could work off block, and that I actually could reject orders. Like I was always petrified to reject orders, right? But as I got more comfortable, I got more seasoned or veteran, you know, I became, you know, better and just kept doing, you know, the job over and over and over. But keep in mind, back then I was working 12 hour days, 14 hour days. It was, it was a lot, man. Uh, I'm curious, how many hours do you guys put in on a daily basis on Grubhub, you know? Now I'm doing my three or four hours, you know, at the absolute max uh, because it's just, it'll burn you out, man. I experienced major burnout. I was super, like, bitter and cold with people. I lost some friends. Family was getting upset. It was affecting my relationship. You know, it was just a lot of things were affected by it. You know, I was just always working. What's up, Heather W? What's up, DFW Food Delivered? So keep in mind, this was June of 2017. As August, September, October of 2017 uh, started coming along, I noticed that I was exceeding my hourly guarantee. Back then, I'm convinced, like, we used to have a theory in 2017, all the drivers. We used to say, I'm pretty sure that if you're on block, that they, like, govern or they, like, um, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that term... Like when they th they throttle you, they throttle the orders that they give you. So if your if your hourly guarantee was twelve dollars an hour, they would send you two orders that would equal about twelve dollars for the hour. So you didn't go over the hourly guarantee. It's almost like they tried to limit you how much you made. Like if you were on block, and I noticed the people off block were killing it, man. You know, like 
they were like absolutely just destroying it out there just getting these monster orders and i was like what the hell man and then all of a sudden they changed things and i was like whoa like now it was like you had to be on block in order to get the good orders and then they were no longer throttling for the hourly guarantee i know doesn't it buddha son it doesn't feel like two years ago but anyway, I don't know if anybody remembers that from back then. Actually, when did you guys all start Grubhub? What year? What month and what year? For me, June 2017. That was for me. Everyone put that in the chat. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got 47 people watching at the current moment. Thank you all so much for your support and viewership. We have 28 uh, likes on the video. Let's see if we can try our hardest to get the, the 28 likes up to 48 or 47. So kindly comment 111 if you smash that like down below. 222 if you can't see the like that's probably because you're on a phone or a tablet so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to close the uh, chat that you're looking at in the top right corner hit the x and then you'll see the like give it a quick tap and to the right you'll see it says uh live chat and you'll be good to go so always remember that for the future what's up money never sleeps uh mod effects network what's happening angie rice what else do we got here i think that's everybody um so let's see uh, October 2018 Ju you were June 2017 as well Lexi that's so funny anybody else June 2017 1218 so we got a lot of newer drivers here. yeah Kyle's definitely uh, he's definitely been here for a while wow yeah whoa dude I was June I think I was June 4th right isn't that right five six yeah June is yeah six, six yeah wow June 6 2017 I'm pretty sure I was like June 4th or 5th, something like that, of 2017. That's so crazy. Um, I remember I was approved within a week, and it was really cool, man. I was like, all right, nice. This is great. You know, but that's that's crazy. But yeah, it looks like we got a lot of people from 2018 and 2019. That's crazy. Me, you, and Lexi all started the same month, same year. Thank you, John. I'll check it out afterwards, okay? Hang in there, John. Hang in there. We're all waiting for you. H, H Deuce 78. Wow, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. H Deuce, I gotta give you mod privileges. Everyone, welcome H Deuce 78 to the PTD Mod Squad. If you have a blue wrench next to your name, comment hashtag PTD Mod Squad in the chat. What's up, Phoenix Delivery Drove and Ryan's Alter Ego? Uh, everyone should have an anniversary party next summer. No, it's okay. No anniversary party needed. Um. Uh, Lynette, are you getting tired or are you trying to say I'm being boring? Uh, they beat you by two days. Yeah, something like it was something like that. I gotta actually wait a minute. I think it says in my app. Hold on. We're gonna get back into this conversation momentarily. I think it says June 4th. Let's see. No, I think they took it away. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, I gotta look up the profile. Driver since July 2nd, uh, no, July, June 2nd, 6-2, 2017. Driver since 6-2, 2017. So, June 2nd. So, I got you guys beat. <laughs> but anyway, I remember from the fall of 2017, ironically enough, that's when DoorDash hit my market. What, what month and year did DoorDash hit your market, guys? So, anyway... I ended up, uh, you know, working through the fall of 2017, working my ass off, working every day, seven days a week, 12 hours a day on major burnout mode. And I was killing it, man. I remember I started bringing in the 120 a day, 140 a day, 160 a day, sometimes 170, 175. It was nuts, man. It was, it was great. And then I remember it spilled over into 2018. Uh, the winter of 2018 was great. Uh, the spring of 2018 was great. I remember the summer of 2018 was, was pretty decent. But then I, I started noticing as we headed into the fall of 2018, <coughs> that's when things started to start changing. I remember in the summer of 2018, they were uh, starting to play around with like uh, the payouts if they were showing them or not. Remember it was starting to say standard rates apply. Do you guys remember that? Comment 333 if you remember the standard rates apply thing. Comment 444 if you don't remember that. Um, and I remember we were all freaking out. They're like, oh my God, they're hiding the payouts. They're hiding the payouts. You know, I remember how like 
like dramatic it got you know what i mean everyone was uh was like so concerned you know and then it turned out that it wasn't a big deal i remember actually uh back then jake from gig coach jake when he had just started he was just getting started back then i remember uh he like debunked it and was like no i think it's a glitch or something like that uh jake is, has always been good at you know like debunking those things you know uh, I know he's not a big fan of me anymore, but we were friends at the time, you know? <laughs> so, it is what it is. What are you going to do? But, um, I remember that, man. I remember how everyone started freaking out. And then, of course, it went back to normal. And then, I think, was there anything else pretty crazy? Budasan, do you remember? Or Kyle or Lexi, do you remember any, uh, any crazy changes that happened in 2018 on Grubhub? And then, of course, you now we're in 2019 and... I just feel like things have, have changed like so dramatically, man. You know, where they're sending drivers out of the region. I remember the days when you went out of the region and after like five minutes, they would send you the warning message telling you that your block was going to be dropped if you didn't return to your region. You know, Brianna, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Uh, remember they outsourced driver care overseas? Yes, for, 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 the time, for a short time, yes. Uh, snail night, slow night. What's up, Cassie Kendig and her daughter? Yeah, Brianna, me too. I always have harsh critics. I do. I do have harsh critics. I guess just because I've been doing this for so long. Yes, the payouts and miles. They stopped showing the miles, and and then in 2019, they're hiding the information. Sometimes they hide the tip in some markets. Sometimes they're, they'll hide when the order was placed, which I hate. Like, why are you hiding from the driver what time the order was placed? I want to know that. They don't want to show it to you because the Grubhub is freaking notorious for sending you orders as soon as they're put in. Like, I could literally be sitting outside of the restaurant and an order was just placed. I accept it and I'm literally right out front and it was just put in one minute prior. So now I'm sitting around for 20, 25 minutes or 15 to 25 minutes waiting for food and when I could have been doing another order. I, I can't stand when that happens. <laughs> Seriously. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go for 100 thumbs up on this video. We've already got 34. I greatly appreciate that. We've got 47 people watching right now. So let's see if we can get up to 47 thumbs up. If we hit 50 likes, guys, in the next 13 minutes... We're going to do a PTD power half hour plus five. So keep that in mind. So comment 111 in the chat if you smash the like. Comment 222 if you don't see the like. Um, you got to close your chat in the top right corner if you're on a phone or tablet. Hit the like and then hit the button to the right that says live chat. You'll be good to go. <clears throat> the new pay model. DoorDash crashed again today? Doesn't surprise me. I remember when scheduling for Grubhub was done in the When I Work app. <clears throat> but I thought that was for um, the Grubhub for Work app. But DJ Stereophonic, are you talking about maybe like 2016 Grubhub or 20... It's got to be 2016, right? Uh, Delivery Beast, I just came back to the U.S. in 20, uh, 2018 of December. Uh, or December 2018. And I've been doing this since then, learning by myself, supporting my family only with these jobs. Can't work for my work permit in 15 days. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I remember when they first hit the tip. So ridiculous. Yeah, seriously. Very much so, Brianna. Grubhub is definitely uh, notorious for that. Without a doubt. What about when you get an order that says it was supposed to be picked up 45 minutes before you accepted it? Yeah, those are always fun because what happens is you end up going to the customer's house, right? And the customer thinks you're the jerk that took too long. They And, and the restaurant, when you walk in, you know, that's a whole nother story, you know? When you walk in, they look at you like, well, it's about time. And I'm like, dude, are you serious? It's about time? And like, I will literally show them. It's like, I just got this notification three minutes ago, but the restaurant doesn't realize that they have no idea. They think you're screwing around. And I, I've always felt like that was an unfair advantage to drivers. Honestly, uh, DoorDash, you cannot drive until they are busy. 
I've noticed that. Uh, they should just add a feature where we can manually switch a region. It would cause chaos, H Deuce, because everyone would choose the most desired region of the two or three. You know? He couldn't even sign out. Uh, does Grubhub for Work still exist? Is, are people still doing it? I feel like I don't ever hear anyone talk about it. If anybody knows, comment 555 if Grubhub for Work still exists, 665 if it doesn't, or no longer, or whatever. Do we get a 1099 at the end of the year? Yes. This is a 1099 job. Um, door crash. Yep. <clears throat> Grubhub card orders pay more, but then you gotta go miles just to deliver the food. Exactly. It's ridiculous. I remember when I could make $100 in a dinner block. Woo! Dude. Okay. Alright, let's play a game. What night of the week is the busiest and the time where you get the most expensive payouts? Not expensive, the highest payouts. What night of the week and what kind of restaurant? I mean, I, I guess every market's different, but I'll give you guys 10 seconds to, to comment that. You're, uh, Cassie, ready for your refund from what? Bobby Salazar, what's happening, man? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Budasan says some things will never change, like getting those twice and three times rejected orders with pickup times that require a flux capacitor. Tell me about it. So, the nights where I made the most money, well, I gotta say, because when I used to work a lot of weekends, because like I said, I'm usually a lunch rush guy Monday through Friday. That's when I usually like to work. Sunday nights, Sunday night dinner rush. And I used to get a lot of the Italian restaurants. Like people would have their their Sunday Italian dinner. Oof, dude, those were all like 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 dollar payouts, man. Because the because the Italian food is pretty expensive, and they they order sometimes people order a lot, you know. And let me tell you, man, oof, used to kill it. But now that I I like I. You know, I want to enjoy my weekends these days. You know what I mean? I put in so much damn time killing myself on these apps. Like, there were times where I literally thought I was in a Twilight Zone episode. I would be like, okay. Because I would, it, my, my, well, actually, let's talk about more differences. In 2017, my market in, on Grubhub was only from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. <clears throat> okay? In 2018, they started 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. And now in 2019, it's 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. But honestly, dude, those were the best nights, dude. They were the best. They were the best. Stinky 226. And I feel like Mondays have changed for Lunch Rush. I feel like Mondays, like, and, well, not Lunch Rush. Yeah, no, Lunch Rush, Mondays, yeah. Like I said, if I can make anywhere from $45 to $55, $60 on a lunch rush, that's the best. What I always used to do when I was working the 12-hour days, I was always like, I got to make at least $60 at lunch and like $67 during dinner. And then during the afternoon, I got to pick up at least another like $30 or $40. You know what I mean? So that I would, I would be making like the $140, $150 a day. I used to always try and aim for like 150 bucks, 140, 150 bucks. KJ! Brianna Owens, they have what? Uh, PF Chang's are good. Yes, PF Chang's orders were always pretty good for the most part, I would say. Not bad. Thank you, Joe Wood, for the Twitter thing. Uh, getting giggy with it. No, 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 no. What's up? Sam Aquino, how you doing? What's happening? And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we've got 51 people watching right now. We've got 43 thumbs up on this video. I think all we need, guys, is seven more likes, and you have bought yourselves a PTD Power Half Hour Plus 5. So kindly smash that thumbs up button down below the video. Comment 111 in the chat if you did that. 222 two, two, if you haven't yet or you can't see the like. Probably it's because the uh, the chat is in your way if you're looking on a phone or a tablet. 
So hit the X in the top right corner and then you'll see the like pop up. Just give it a quick tap and to the right, it'll say uh, live chat and it'll bring the chat right back up. Mondays are pretty good for dinner. Yeah, because people are still kind of in weekend mode, which is why Mondays are typically pretty good at lunch rush because again, people are still in weekend mode and they're like, they're still trying to hold on to the, to the weekend as much as they can because by Tuesday, you're pretty much back, you know, back to the routine of the week again. And then Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday, and then Thursday, you're okay. <laughs> you know? Richard Pimentel. You know what, Richard? It's time we give you moderator privileges, too. I feel like Oprah. You get moderator privileges, and you get moderator <laughs> privileges. Everyone, please welcome Mr. Richard Pimentel for his loyalty to our PTD Mod Squad, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This place is for fun. Eric, Eric K, what's up? X marks the spot, what's up? Black Beauty, the horse movie. Wasn't that a book? Or in a movie. Right, Black Beauty. I remember that, the horse movie. Wasn't that in the 90s? It was 90 degrees, 90 degree? oh, you're in California. I wish I was in California. I would totally live in California if, uh, if it wasn't for the earthquakes and that all my family lives here you know i'm very close to my family it's it's good to be close with with relatives and family and all that stuff you know yeah wednesday you know wednesday is an iffy day when it comes to really the entire day you know um the sky my, my kite in the wind that's right the sky the sky is up and Typically kites fly in the sky, which is up. So I guess that would be what's up Eric. I see what you did there I see it Some people might say what are you a wise guy? But Barney Barney Rubble would say something different and Fred Flintstone would totally say something even this more different than that, right? Fred are you over there? Yeah Guys, do you want to talk to Fred Flintstone for a second? Anybody comment 333 if you want to you want to talk to him 444 if you think you should just go take a hike what do you mean? Listen, Fred, are you feeling up to it or not? No, me and Dino are playing chess. Wow, saying it like it is, is always he's here hanging, partying with Fred and Barney. I don't know what's going on. Fred, come on over here. Put that steak down. We'll, we'll get you another steak later. All right, all right. Hold on. Hold your horses. <clears throat> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fred Flintstone. Hello, yabba dabba do. Welcome to Paid to Drive's Like Begging Stream. <laughs> Fred, come on. I thought we were friends. Well, we are, but I got to bust your chops. You know what I mean? Ooh. Wilma, cook me some chops. All right, Fred. I think uh, I think you need to go and sit down over there. All right. Yabba tabba do. All right, guys. That was Fred Flintstone. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause, everybody. That's right. Let's see some emojis in the chat. Some clapping. You know what I mean? But yeah. He he was playing he was playing chess with Dino over there from saying it like it is. Hey Dino, you still over there? What's the emergency? Yeah, he's he's pretty pretty deep in that game over there. <laughs> but anyway, going back to Grubhub. <laughs> Chop liver. I hope you dressed as Fred for Halloween. I no, I didn't dress up as anything uh, for Halloween. But fun fact: when I used to work at Staples back when I was in college, I worked with this guy named Joe. Really nice guy, kind of quiet. I swear to God, one day it never dawned on me a coworker was in the aisle, and he was like, "Hey, what's up, Fred?" And I was like. Hey, why did you call Joe Fred? He's like, dude, he looks like Fred Flintstone. And then, like, it clicked, and I was like, oh, no way. And he looked exactly like Fred Flintstone. He was, like, heavy set. Uh, he, he never tucked in his shirt, so his shirt was, like, super long because he was, like I said, like he was a chubby kid. And it looked like Fred Flintstone's long shirt that he wore. And he would walk around the aisles all stiff and everything. And I would be like, oh my god, all I see is Fred Flintstone now when I see this dude. 
That was so funny. I felt bad, though, because he didn't really like it. Uh, what's up, Bobby Salazar and Papino? Hey, it's a little Papino. Zania Giarda, or Zania Yarda, what's up? Uh, try getting Digital Duds shirts for next Halloween. They'll definitely catch people's attention. I'm not even sure what that is. I wish I could show you guys a picture of what this guy looked like. I forgot his last name, but I don't want to put him on blast like that all these years later. He probably has like a family now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Pete, do you know if Grubhub uh, restaurants in Gatlinburg do Grubhub? I don't even know where Gatlinburg is. Is that Gatlinburg? Gatlinburg? I'm not even sure where that is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the 30 minute mark here. Uh, we have 49 thumbs up, but I'll pretty much give you a grace period on that. It's basically 50 thumbs up. So we are now in the final moments, the final minutes here of the PTD Power Half Hour, beginning the PTD Power Half Hour plus five. So everybody down below, if you wouldn't mind, smash that thumbs up button. It takes two seconds. Comment 111 if you smash the like, 222 if you haven't yet. And uh, if you can't see the like button, you're probably on a phone or a tablet. You've got to close the chat in the top right corner and then hit the like and then hit live chat. He has pebbles now. Bonnie! <laughs> Fruity pebbles are part of a complete breakfast. No, Fred. There's actually a lot of sugar in there. Shut up, Barney. Shut up, Barney. Barney! Digital Dutch shirts let you put a smartphone in there and play an animation. Oh, yeah, that is cool. Yeah, I love Fred Flintstone when he gives Barney Rubble heck for no reason. Exactly. You got to have the ugly Christmas sweaters. Got to do it. Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Any? We got anybody in Tennessee? I think, uh, let's see, somebody. Uh, Brianna, I think, is in Tennessee, right? Barney. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like when I actually lose some more weight, I'll be able to pull off, like, like the ugly sweater look, you know, for Christmas. But I, I feel like right now, I don't quite have the proper physique to wear a sweater of that magnitude and actually look decent in it. <laughs> you know, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like I would look like a snow globe. <laughs> Fred Flintstone and Ralph Cramden had a kid tonight. That's great. Oh, well, Cassie, what happened? Or are you laughing at what I said? Yes, Brianna's in old Tennessee. Are you a big Elvis fan, Brianna? Isn't that where Graceland is in Tennessee? Graceland? Shaggy? <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Uh... Shaggy and Scooby, that's right. Like Scoob, this scrub up is crazy. Right, bro. Scooby dooby doo. Like Scoob, there's nothing to eat, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. You gotta, you totally have to. You gotta, you gotta like Elvis a little bit. <laughs> it ain't nothing but a hound dog. You've mastered the impression of a sloth, but not sloth from the Goonies. Wasn't that his name, Sloth? Baby, baby Ruth, baby. Sloth, you're gonna live with me now. <laughs> like Scoob, I don't want to order from Grubhub, man. I'm Casey Casey. I actually did the voice of Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Whatever was in Lilo and Stitch, wasn't that the uh, a little less conversation and a little more action? A little less conversation, a little more action. Little less conversation, keep me satisfied. A little more fun. 
Satisfy me, satisfy me, satisfy me. Daryl Berry, what's up? Uh, I do Grubhub in my area when DoorDash is dead, and I make more at Grubhub than DoorDash. That's the way it's supposed to be, man. Joe Pesci, I feel like I have to curse too much, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get everyone upset with me. Uh, I'm pretty sure Casey Kasem did do the voice of Shaggy. Yes, Shaggy would door order from DoorHash. That's right. Actually, let's let's interview Shaggy real quick. Hey, Shaggy, come on over here. Stop, stop raiding my refrigerator. Let Scooby have some. Right, bro. Like, okay, man. All right, so Shaggy, I have a question. Yeah. All right, so if you had to choose, Shaggy, would you order from Grubhub or would you order from DoorDash, and why? Well, like I don't know, man. I kind of like. Grubhub, but sometimes DoorDash, you can order more things, man. Scoob, what about you? I don't know. DoorDash? Well, alright, Shaggy, I guess go back to doing whatever the hell you were doing before. Okay, man. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> I'm walking here. I'm walking here. That's right. <coughs> Uber Eats has been dead for me lately. I <laughs> Pretty crazy. Shaggy tipped the damn driver. That's right. Shaggy was a pothead with the munchies. It's, it's pretty much to be assumed that all of them were pretty much potheads. But Shaggy was the one that indulged a bit too often. Probably. I gotta work on my Shaggy impression, like actually having conversations, because I always just say the same thing. Like, Scoob, this is crazy, man! The Wacky Racers dog, isn't that Muttley? Wasn't his name Muttley? He, he, doesn't he just do that laugh, like, <laughs> Or just like, <laughs> Doesn't he just laugh? The Mystery Machine was totally 420 friendly, definitely. It sounds like you got a damn cartoon zoo. Yes, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> I've noted I've noticed that myself, Richard Pimentel. I have. I've definitely noticed that. Without a doubt. I make more with Grubhub on part time than DoorDash. Let's see. Fred wasn't, he was the naive, gullible guy with a driver's license and a van. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess Fred was pretty much spot on. Like, he was pretty level-headed. Motley. It was Motley or Motley, something like that. I think it was Motley. Scrappy-Doo, remember him? Let me at him! Let me at him! Scooby's nephew... Come on, Uncle Scoob, let me at him. I didn't really like the the. I'm not gonna lie, I never was too crazy about the Scrappy Doo adventures. Remember that? Remember when they did like that spinoff where it was Scooby, Scrappy Doo, and like like Velma or like Daphne, and it wasn't Fred and Shaggy. And I'm like, what are you crazy? Huckleberry Hound. I never really tried a Huckleberry Hound impression. I feel like I would have to hear him again. I know what you're talking about, the blue dog. But wasn't he like, oh, no, no, that's Foghorn Leghorn. I was going to say. Does he kind of have like a Foghorn Leghorn voice? What's up, Terrell Stark? Scooby was totally a pothead. He was rolling around with Shaggy all the time. You know something was going on. They were smoking. <laughs> yeah, definitely, John. 50% of my night deliveries, I could smell the pot. Yep. You could smell it seeping under the doorway. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and the 13 Ghosts. Was that... Yeah, that was a... Um, wasn't that another series that they did? <clears throat> now, I say, I say, I say, boy. No, 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 boy. You're doing it all wrong. 
droopy dog. I gotta hear them again. Oh no! It's like it's almost like uh, what's the guy's name? The donkey, Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore. He's, he almost has like an Eeyore kind of voice. Young Scooby Doo was weird as well. Yeah, I never really felt that. I was never a big fan of that. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I'm not going to drive you crazy tonight with the get upside, although you all should be on there. Comment 333 if you have it, 444 if you don't. Link's in the description. You guys know the deal. Save money in your gas. How many times I got to repeat it? Um, yeah, no problem. <laughs> you got it, Terrell Stark. If, if you're related to Tony Stark, you let me know because we've all been missing him. Although, we're probably going to see Tony Stark again from another universe. That's the... Uh, that's the rumor going around the street. Hotboxing the mystery machine. Michelle, what do you know about that? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed the stream or if you just, you know, like being part of the community, smash that like button down below. Brianna, I got to go. I got You always got to keep the audience wanting more. Remember that. If any of you ever go into show business, and if I ever go into show business, this is about as close as it's going to get. Uh, you always got to keep the audience wanting more. You never want them to get tired of you. I, I try to, Zanaya. I try to do uh, impressions pretty often. But I notice I start losing viewers as soon as uh, that happens. But I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. We will commence again tomorrow night. 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific. Uh, we're going to have a good old time. But comment 111 if you smash that like. 222 if you haven't yet. That's all I got for you, everyone. Subscribe down below and turn those notifications on. Subscribe to my second channel. And join us on the Facebook group, The Delivery Driver Lounge, where we have lots of fun and talk about all sorts of things. Anyway, that's all I got. Get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep hustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive. Everybody comment the secret comment code right now. Flood the chat, flood the comments. PTD Tuesdays. Everybody comment down below and be excellent to each other. Whoa! Whoa! Seriously, be excellent to each other. <laughs>